The real good kid, influenced by your father? Sure. What was the concept of the whole album? The album is about me riding high on my last hit that you mentioned. I took a pill in Ibiza. You know, I'm flying around the world. I'm making all this money and getting a call from my mother that dad has a, a tumor in his head the size of a tangerine. And they're going to take it out tomorrow. And flying home and selling the house in L.A., basically moving back to the house I grew up in. In Detroit. Yeah, and, and, and helping dad die. And then falling in love after that and that, having that relationship end. Ended? And, yeah, and then finding some beauty in, in all that pain. The album begins with death and it ends with life. And the real good kid is what your father used to call you? Uh, the album is interspersed with um, bits of dialogue between my father and myself. I started recording my dad when I was about 17. He'd walk in the room and I used to have a mic set up to my, the family computer. I'd be making music in there and I'd hit record and he'd just say a bunch of stuff. And I used to do it without him knowing. Then as I got older and the phones got better, I would always have a recorder on my phone. He'd tell me, you know, stories of meeting my mother and and stories about his father and uh, you know, ask some questions like, how, "How did you know it was it was right to marry mom?" This kind of thing, and I, I always recorded him, and I re I continued to record him, uh, and then I I would he started to know I was doing it too. So it stopped being a secret, and I continued to record him as he was dying. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.